been a dragon in history worth losing a hair over. Rebellion. Watch yourselves, baby. Let's have your lead here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. I should be going now. Thank you. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Lumos. More powerful than the dark arts? <laughs> Lumos. Tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacula. <gasps> Lumos.
castle. You can feed a beast. Accio. Lumos. Incendio. Expelliarmus. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had... Excuse me, did you say something about Bardo Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardo. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to see her. Ranrock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done?
I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ramrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should. <laughs> 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 Ranrock to blame. One camp down, one more to go.
war is over, goblins will rule over wizards at last. Can't handle a little altercation. error of your ways. Both camps cleared. Madam Beaumont will be glad to hear that.
he's right out of a storybook. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Oh, you like that? A fine choice. Excuse me, Mrs. Sprottle. Any news on Bardolph Beaumont's disappearance? Afraid not. I've spoken with Claire, still worried sick about her brother. He was last seen heading towards the forest with one of Victor Rookwood's lot. Madam Beaumont, might I speak with you? Oh, I'd be happy to speak with you. Especially after your help ridding us of Ranrock's loyalists. Mrs. Sprottle told me a little more about your brother Bardolf. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. Another adventure, are we? This looks intriguing. Revelio. Past the river near the forest. I must be on the right track. <laughs> it 
Incendio! This mentions in theory, something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Revelio!
What are you up to now? I wonder who lives here. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! This can't be! <sighs> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. Rebellion. Rebellion. Seems a pleasant enough little place.
I should investigate. the job. <laughs> Your eyes. 